Welcome to the 8th grade math homework helper series. Tonight's homework is SE3, Solving Systems of Equations Algebraically and with Substitution. We'll start by taking a look at question number 2. Solve each system of equations algebraically and check and then name the type of system. So, for question number 2, we have y equals x and we have 5x minus 4y equals negative 2. Step number one, we want to solve. In this case, we can solve for either x or y, since it says they're equal. It's your choice. So, let's go ahead, and we'll start with the original equation, 5x minus 4y equals negative 2. For step number one, we're going to alternate these. Since they're equal, I've chosen to go with y. So, we can change the x to a y, and we have 5y minus 4y equals negative 2. And if we go ahead and subtract that, we get y equals negative 2. 5 minus 4 gives us 1. So if y equals negative 2, and if x equals y, then x equals negative 2. So the solution would be negative 2, negative 2. And we'll take that solution, and moving on to step 2, we'll use the solution to do a check. So if we have negative 2, negative 2, and we have 5x minus 4y equals negative 2, then we have 5 times negative 2 minus 4 times negative 2 equals negative 2. Well, that gives us negative 10 plus 8 equals negative 2. Negative 10 plus 8 is negative 2, which of course equals negative 2. So our check is successful. So our check worked, and so that brings us to determining the type of system we have. And since there's only one solution, which would be the intersection if we graphed it, it must be a consistent system. Okay, let's move on to another question. Question number four. We have a equals negative 2b, and the equation is 5a minus 3b equals 13. So we'll start by trying to solve for a. So if we take the equation and we know that a is negative 2 times b, so in place of a we put negative 2b. That gives us 5 times negative 2b minus 3b equals 13. Well 5 times negative 2 is going to give us negative 10b minus 3b equals 13. So we have negative 10b minus 3b gives us 13b equals 13. Negative 13b equals 13. We divide by negative 13. That isolates the b, and it gives us negative 1. So we know that b is equal to negative 1. We come back to the original equation of a equals negative 2b, and instead of b, we can now put a negative 1. a equals negative 2 times negative 1, which is going to give us a equals positive 2. So if we think of it as a, b, we are then left with a being 2, and b, as we discovered before, was negative 1. So n 2, negative 1 is the solution. And we can take that solution, and we can do a check. So we have a equals negative 2b, a, b being 2, negative 1. Take the original equation, 5a minus 3b equals 13. 5a is now 5 times 2, and 3, negative 3, is now going to be multiplied by negative 1. So 5 times 2 is 10, negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3, still equals 13, and 10 plus 3 is 13, equals 13. Our check works, and that brings us to the last step, which is determine the system. Once again, there was only one solution it would be the intersection if we graphed it, and because it has one intersection or one solution, it has to be a consistent system. Please use the problems that were solved for you tonight to help you do the additional problems that are on your homework. And remember, the key to success in math is not only working hard, but working smart.